Welcome back to Team Fast Eddie and HPIBajaTutorials.com. What we're going to do at this time is to go ahead and show you how to assemble the CVDs put out by Baja Skunk Works. All right, let's go ahead and start to uh, build one of our CVDs here. They are very straightforward and, and fairly simple to build. We're going to need some Loctite, and we're going to start off with a 2 millimeter wrench and we're going to install two set screws, one on this side and one on this side of the inside portion of the CVD that holds the pin. So let's go ahead and put some Loctite on our little set screw. We're going to insert them till they're just just a right at flush on both sides just like so we're going to go ahead at this point and insert the center section into the hole on this end of the dog bone Just like so. You're going to make it so that the hole is straight through here. It's kind of hard to see. There you go. You can see that the hole is visible here. We're going to go ahead and grab the larger of the two pins and with the axle. You notice that the axle is going to have four holes in it. Basically that is a redundant design so that if at any time during the life of the dog bone one of these, or the CVD, one of these holes wears out, you can pull the pin, turn it 90 degrees, put it back together, and double the life of the CVD. So what we're going to do is go ahead and insert the end of the dog bone into the axle and we're going to line everything up and we're going to take the pin slide it through going to wiggle it around a little bit until it pushes all the way through you can see that it's even on both sides use your fingers make sure that that's completely even and they're straight and then we're going to go ahead and it's hard to do this uh, for the camera, but we're going to go ahead and lay everything straight here, and we're going to go ahead and put our Allen wrench in. We're going to tighten up the set screw and snug it down. We're going to go ahead and do that on both sides. dog bone has to be straight. Put that in. Tighten it up. Just like so. And do that on both sides. I'm going to double check this side. And we're all set. You can see that it floats freely want to make sure that there's no play in there make sure everything's nice the next step is going to be to install this retainer ring we're going to go ahead and slide it over the dog bone and what it does is it comes over and it slides over the pin so that if in fact the set screws come loose that those pins will not come out. And then to hold this retainer ring in place, we're going to go ahead and grab this little clip. And that clip is going to go on into this little gap right here. And this is a little bit of a little bit of a challenge to get it on. First thing you need to do is get it over this first hump 
and then I like to use a pair of pliers I'm sorry a, a screwdriver and I'm gonna use one but I don't know if I can really get this on film but I'm going to just get one corner of this clip started see it right here into the little groove just get one portion of it started and then I can use my thumb and get a good portion of it of it going or I can use the screwdriver and just go around and little by little force it over the ridge until it sets into place just like so you can see that now this ring is in place. It holds that clip on. The clip holds the ring on so it doesn't come off. That's how we build the Skunk Works CVD. Now we're going to go ahead and install the boots just like we would onto a dog bone. They're are two ways that you can do this and I'm not really quite sure on the manufacturers recommendation with this but you can run them dry I'm sure uh, uh, or you can use grease and I'm sure that each one of the different methods has its own pros and cons when we're using the grease we're going to go ahead and use the team fast eddy dog bone and transmission grease and we're going to go ahead and fill up the cup with the grease. At that point, we're going to slide a boot over the shaft and then on there to retain the grease and to keep the dirt out. These are the stock boots and what we've done is we've taken and you can see that we've cut one of the boots down to about a quarter of an inch across and we're just going to again just use a pair of scissors or a razor blade and go ahead and cut about half of the width off of this portion of the boot from there we're going to go ahead and slide the boot over the bone we're going to fill up the cup with grease we're going to slide the boot over just like so and then the kit comes with two pieces of safety wire, one for each of the CVDs. And as you can see here, I've installed the safety wire so that it holds the boot onto the axle. It's pretty simple to do. You wrap it around, you start twisting it with your fingers, and then you can twist it lightly with a pair of pliers so that it uh, just grabs. You don't have to go crazy over-tightening it but uh, you do want it fairly tight. Then we're going to go ahead and install our second boot just like we would with any other CVD. Going to go ahead and put this boot on. Once that boot is on, we're going to go ahead and put the cross pin in. Again, we're going to use the included set screw. Let's go ahead and put some Loctite on there. Slide the pin through, make sure it's centered. and tighten it up. At this point you're ready to go ahead and install your CVD just like you would a dog bone on this end and just as you would a axle extender or an axle on this end. There you go. That is the Baja Skunk Works CVDs.